Hello, Joyce Herb from paperfinesse.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to be featuring Chibatronics, and this is part one of two-part video. I'll be doing two different designs. This is the first one I ever did, and I'll be using merchandise from our sponsor, Tupelo Designs LLC, which is sponsoring the fourth week of every month at the ModSquadChallenge.com. That is a challenge site that I run where we have gift certificates and prizes every single week. So let's get into our video. Hi, today I'm going to be adding some of these Chibatronic lights that I got at Tupelo. They come in these little groups of three. You don't have to use all three, but I'm going to. And I got package of 10 and shared them with a friend and I also got the copper tape and it's a little bit cheaper to do it this way and my batteries will be here later today which I'll show you as the last step on this video and I made this card front the background is you see it's shiny it's the back of a Disney brochure that I was getting ready to throw away and it's like hey wait I decided to keep it and I punched three holes behind some of the stars to put lights behind them. Okay, I got these little pieces of paper cut to hold the battery. They're two and a half long by one inch wide. I said I'll finish these up later but for now just to get my circuit run I'm folding each one in half. I'm going to mark them. I'm going to make this positive and negative. And it doesn't matter which is which. You can you want negative on the bottom, put negative there. It doesn't matter. As long as you run your circuit to the right place. Okay, now on the card, I cut a piece of card just a little bit smaller. Oh, I gotta show you this. I ran my first circuit. Don't put it on the back of your card front. It goes out of paper under it so the lights can show through. Duh. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna place this over. I push my lead out a little bit on my pencil. Hold this in place. My top star is a little high up. I'm just marking where the lights will be. And then I'm going to use the globe as the trigger. I'm just putting a little mark under that. And then under here, I'm going to have my battery. Right there. So I am going to keep that in position. I'm going to try to keep this video at real speed if I if I'm not too slow here. Okay. So my plus I'm going to run this way. I'm going to map it out here. into here and my minus I will keep them a little bit closer and it will go to the minus oh wait that's not right okay because I need my minus over by this one too So then I will go, I knew I had to go on top of this, okay, and I will go here, and it goes all the way around to that side, okay. 
trustfully that works. <laughs> now, I cut my little tape in half. So Jennifer McGuire cut it in half. And she said it's easier to deal with, but it's also a good bit less expensive, especially seeing I ruined a whole bunch of tape when I put it in the wrong place. get it started here. Try to stay in camera. Start it. I will adjust the distance after I get this on. Okay, you want to keep the tape flat and be careful try not to tear it. Pull back, pull back on it, come down for the turn, pull back, come down, bring this into the middle. Okay, now I'm going to take my nail and get this down really good. You want it down really tight. Okay, there's our positive run. Oops, I'll have to Turn that off too. Be careful here because I need to get close enough to the dot so they make a connection. I'm sure they said the point is the, yep, the point is the um, negative. I'm pulling back. To make my turn. This is where I'm a little concerned about, but we'll see if I've got it positioned correctly. I don't want to touch though. You can't touch the other circuit. Not very straight here, but I'm hoping it. I won't know if I made the circuit until I test it. Oh wait, let me see. Nope, that doesn't work. <clears throat> that won't open. Okay. 
Okay. I think I have to go. Your first circuit is going to be fun. I don't think it'll be as bad though when you got fingers that work a little better. Oh, I hope I got this. Okay. Don't know if this is going to make a circuit. Okay, what happened is I had the circuit correctly on the back side here where you can open it up, put everything in. But when you flip it over, it had to be reversed. So I put the flap this way. And because this foil was too short and I didn't want to waste it if I could help it, I attached a little piece to it here and went around and did that and then I ran the negative over here had it twisted here and under the battery and to make sure that I had a connection I put the battery in and I moved this little piece in every location because of my little turns and stuff here I wanted to make sure it worked so now let me show you something here too. Getting these Chibitronics out, I kept trying to figure out how to get it out of this clamshell. And what it does is it's got this little sheet over it. You just tear it back to get out your lights. Okay. Okay, now, before I glue any of this in, where are my lights? I've got so much junk sitting here. Now keep in mind this is my first try. The second one I expect to go a lot faster. It's just figuring out all the connections. Oh, here it is. It's upside down. Okay. These are on little stickers. So you just peel them off. Now it's probably hard to see. But before I press them down, I want to make sure everything works here. The point goes to the negative. Got to make sure the light is touching tape on both sides. I'm not pressing it down, I'm just sitting it there because I want to test it. Okay. I'm trying to get the light by where my dot is. Now let's see if we have a circuit for all those. This one's not touching. Okay. I'm pressing it down too hard because I have to check one more thing. This one's a little touchy here. Okay. 
Now I'm hoping I have them all lined up correctly. And I do. I can see this one. I can see them each blinking in the holes. So I'm going to press this one down. I'm going to press this one down. This one's could be because it's right on that crease I made. Now, we need to keep this battery in place and cut some, I doubled up some tape, I cut it in half from this row, I cut it in half and then folded it together for two. I'm going to make a little well here so it doesn't come out. Plus what this is going to do is hold it above the battery. See how the paper is touching, touching and nothing's happening? Let me get the last piece in and I'll show you. Okay, now let's test this circuit out. Make it a mess here. Okay. See how it's going to be. So when it's in the card, it's going to be hitting this. So when you press down, it's going to make the connection. Isn't that cool? Now what I have to do, and instead of using this um, foam, I'm going to be using foam sheets to fill in all these areas. So I'll do that and be right back. Okay, here we go. This is real time. Everything works. I want to show you this is slightly over the tape and it doesn't matter. It still, still works. Now I think the biggest challenge is going to be lining up these lights. I'm going to try and hold it. This one right here is not, there it shows through, it's not very well. Well, it's going to have to be okay. Okay, so there we go. Push it, and they all light up. Well, I made it through my first Shibatronic card. Be sure to watch part two right after this. And all these circuits and the mechanics go together much easier the second time. For this card, I used Chibatronics, the lights. I got a pack of 30 lights and a roll of copper tape. The space images is Altenew Space Travel. And I'm not sure if it's in stock right now at Tupelo. Concord and Ninth Global Greetings is the other one. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to watch part two. Have a great crafting day.